In today's screencast, we'll explore Twitter's advanced search feature and how you can use it as a recruiter to find potential candidates, build relationships, and improve your efficiency using this social tool. Welcome to today's screencast all about Twitter advanced search. I'm Jeremy Brown and I'm the content and social media marketer for Guild. Today I'll be covering exactly how to use Twitter advanced search as a recruiter. There's tons of data and opportunities for you as a recruiter to build relationships and to even find prospective candidates. So let's get started. The first thing I'll be covering is just the basic search results page. So what we want to do is go to the search field at the top of the screen and we'll type in a general search word, recruiting. Now this is the search results page. On the left hand side, you can see tweets, you get people that contain our keyword, as well as photos, as well as videos. Now, if we go back to the tweets, there are three tabs that we need to pay attention to. You have top, which are the most relevant tweets. You have all, which are the most recent tweets that contain your keyword or key phrase. And you have people you follow, which are from the, the tweets from the people you follow that contain your keyword. So now that we have an understanding of what the search results page looks like and the different things you can find, let's get into Twitter's advanced search. Now that we've looked at the results page, let's get into the advanced search page. In order to do that, go to the widget towards the right upper right hand part of the screen, click on that. You can also save your search, by the way, if you're looking to come back to this type of search in the future. But for now, we'll go to advanced search. This is what the advanced search page looks like. Now, there are a lot of fields here. So I will go into each one individually and then towards the end, I will create some examples so you can see exactly how each one uh, works with the other. So the first field, all of these words. If we type in three, three keywords, recruiting, tech, and hiring, and just a, a reminder, you want to use, if you have multiple words, you want to use spaces. So Twitter for all of these words uh, field will filter in any tweets that contain all three of those words. The next field is this exact phrase. Now this field will allow you to search for exact phrases. For example, you can type in, I love JavaScript. And you can actually find developers who tweet this. They're showing their passions. They love JavaScript. Or another example could be looking for a new job. Okay, That's another phrase you can use that will bubble up people who are, are looking for new jobs on Twitter. The next field, any of these words, if we use the same example as number one, recruiting, tech, and, oops, and hiring, we will get any tweet that contains one of those words, two of those words, or all three of those words. So instead of showing you tweets that contain all three of the words, you have, it, it'll basically vary. The next field is none of these words. Now I particularly like to use this to filter out tweets that contain links. If I'm looking for different conversations and ways to build relationships with people, I don't want to be forwarded to a web, web page. So basically I type in HTTP www bit which stands for bitly, owl which stands for owly, the Hootsuite shortener, and also goog which stands for Google's URL shortener. And that will, that will uh, remove any tweet that contains links unless the link starts with a website name. For example, guild.com slash products or uh, copyblogger.com slash blog. But if it can, if it was www.guild.com, that link would not show up in the tweet. Or if it's a sponsored tweet, then it will, it will if it's a, a sponsored tweet that contains a link, it will show up regardless. So the next field, these hashtags. And basically, it's straightforward. You can search for particular hashtags. For example, if you're looking for the recruiting hashtag, you can just type in recruiting. And for this field, you don't have to use hashtag recruiting. Just type in the keyword that you're looking for and it'll automatically put in the hashtag. 
So written in, of course, is straightforward, different languages. If you're looking for English or a different language, you can filter in uh, content that is in a specific language. The next section is people. In this field, from these accounts, you can filter in tweets that are from particular accounts. For example, if we're looking for tweets that are coming from Google's account, we can get tweets that can are directly from their corporate account. Go back to search. To these accounts, we can basically see what tweets are going to a particular account. Again, if we use Google as an example, we can filter in tweets that are coming from different people all over the world that are going to the Google account. And we can also, if we go to the next field, mentioning these accounts, filter in tweets that are not going directly to Google, but are mentioning Google within the tweet. The next section is places. And we can actually filter in tweets by location. For example, if we're looking for a developer in the San Francisco Bay Area, we can just simply type in San Francisco. And that'll filter in tweets that are in that location. The next section is other. We can filter in tweets that are positive, negative, have questions, or include retweets. Now this is a great way to find tweets that you can answer as a recruiter or if uh, someone is looking for a job and they're asking for, for referrals or anything like that, you can actually find tweets that are containing that. So now that we've gone through each section and each field individually, let's do an example. Now that you have a firm grasp of using advanced search and what their search results page looks like and all the small things you can do to find people in relevant tweets, let's do an example. Let's say that I'm looking for a developer that's really passionate about Python and Ruby. Now, you might hear a lot of people talking about setting up social listening, but what does that really mean? What does that really look like? So in this example, that's what I'm going to do. Let's, so we can go to any of these words and type in the two keywords that we're looking for, Python and Ruby, and make sure there's spaces between each that turns both into a keyword. We can go to none of these words and type in www.http owl bit and goob to filter out links. And we can go to location. Say, for example, we're an organization or a recruiter in the San Francisco Bay Area who's looking for a developer who specializes and is passionate about Python and Ruby. We can type in San Francisco. Now we go to search and we get the results. And from here, this is where we scroll and click on different profiles to, to get more information about the people talking about those two keywords. So say, we're, for example, we're scrolling, we're scrolling, we're scrolling, and we stumble upon Connor. We like his tweets, we click on his profile. Now from here, we have his bio. We get more information about him. If he has a relevant blog or a website that we can visit, that's another way of gauging how passionate somebody is about a certain topic. Is their blog about those two topics or one of those topics, or is it something different? We can see how often he tweets about those topics. And from here, we add him to a list. If we like his profile, we like everything that he has to say, we add him to a list. We can call it potential candidates to watch. We can add him to that list. And every day we come back to this list and we can see how often he is talking about these particular pro uh, programming languages and use that as a signal to determine passion. And that's what it means to set up social listening and to really use Twitter as a social listening tool. So now that is the example of social listening. Now let's get into the bonus tip. Here's today's bonus tip. At times, people will actually put in their Twitter bio that they're looking for a new job. This is when a tool like Follow Want comes into play. This tool gives you the capability of actually searching through people's bios for keywords or key phrases, and it's free. Now there are some premium features, but the capability of searching through bios is actually free. Now if we go to the search Twitter bios tab, we go to the search uh, field, we type in quotation marks developer for hire, for example. Now we put developer for, hi for hire within quotation marks because that turns that key phrase into an exact phrase. So any result that we get will have that exact phrase in the bio. Now if we go to do it and we get the results, we can see that the key phrase is actually bolded.
Now, the very first result that we get, we have an iOS developer for hire who lives in the Houston, Texas area. Now, if you're a company or a recruiter in that area, this might be a good person to reach out to. You might get a good response from this. And you can actually go deeper than this. You can go to more options and search by location. Say, for example, New York or even San Francisco. So follow along gives you a unique way of further enhancing your ability to find more candidates, people who are looking for jobs. So that's Follow Wonk. And that is the bonus tip for today. Try the tool out. It's free. All you need to do is sign up with your Twitter profile and you're good to go.